Hello Grade 1s, welcome back to another lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. My name is Teacher Di and I'm so glad that you've joined me here today. We're going to be doing some fun maths and if you have any questions just ask your mom or dad to send a an email to the address on the screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com and we'll do our best to get back to you. Okay. Today's lesson, we are going to be doing story sums. I just love story sums. They're such a nice challenge. Are you ready for a challenge? Great. Now we're going to need to warm up our maths brains for this big challenge and we're going to do some counting. So let's count in one. So that's an ordinary counting. But we are going to start at 11 and end at 30. How's that? Shall we try it? Start at 11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Did you get caught? Remember I said stop at 30. Okay, now let's count backwards, and we're going to count backwards from 30 to 11. Shall we try that? Let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. <laughs> Did you stop there? Well done. Okay, let's count in twos. I'm going to start at two and stop at 40. Okay, so that's skip counting. We're counting all the even numbers. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Well done. Okay, now let's count in fives. That means we're going to count in this row, the fives row, and in the tens row. It's like a pattern. Let's go. 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Well done. It's so important to know your counting. Lastly, in tens, and this one's really quick because we just go down the tens column. And we could actually go much further, hey, but let's just do this today. 10 until 40. Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40. <laughs> That's it. Well done. Okay, some story sums. Ah, story sums. Please keep calm and draw a picture. That's what you have to remember with story sums. Keep calm, draw a picture, and you'll get the answer. Okay, here's our first one. If I planted three rows of four bean plants, how many bean plants would I have? Always good to read it two times. Let's read it again. If I planted three rows of four bean plants, how many bean plants would I have? Well, I've got no idea. Do you know? <laughs> Let's draw a picture. Here's a story sum. We don't really understand. We don't know what to do. So we keep calm and draw a picture. Let me see what we've got here. Three rows of four bean plants, right? Three rows. One, two, three. Good. Three rows of four bean plants. So there are four plants in each row. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And when you're drawing these in your maths book, remember you're not going to draw arty drawings like I've even got a bit of an arty picture here. You simply draw a dot. It's fine. We're doing maths. We're not doing art. So here we go. It said three rows of four bean plants in each row. 
how many bean plants would I have? Well, that's easy. We can just count them. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there we go. Twelve plants. You see, when we read it at first, we were like, whoa. And then we remembered, keep calm, draw a picture. And we got the answer. Brilliant. Let's do another one. Okay. If I planted three rows of five bean plants, how many bean plants would I have? Okay, let's read it again. If I planted three rows of five bean plants, how many bean plants would I have? Okay, keep calm, draw a picture. Three rows. One, two, three. Five bean plants. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ta-da! Three rows of five bean plants. Okay, let's go back and count because the question says how many would I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good. Fifteen bean plants. Now I want to show you something. These are in rows of five. So if we want to be quick, we could even just count in fives. Five, 10, 15. You see, it's the same answer. That's why it's so important to know your counting. It can save you lots of time. Five, 10, 15, 15 plants. See how quickly I did that. Let's do another one. I want to make bunches of flowers. Oh. I really do. I love flowers. I want five flowers in a bunch. I have 20 flowers. How many bunches can I make? Okay, keep calm. Draw a picture. Let's read it again. I want to make bunches of flowers. I want five flowers in a bunch. I have 20 flowers. How many bunches can I make? Right, so we've got 20 flowers and we need to put them into groups of five. And then we need to see how many we, we got, how many bouquets we can make. Right, so first thing, 20 flowers. Now, I've got flowers here, but you would just draw maybe circles or a square. Whatever you like, a maths drawing, not an arty drawing. Okay, but I'm cheating because I can just put a picture on the screen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's what it said. Hey, 20 flowers. And I have to put them in bunches of five. All right, let me do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's one bunch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's another bunch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Another bunch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And how many bunches can you make? Right, four bunches. Well done. That was really tricky with quite a big number, 20. And then we had to put them into groups and our minds were just going crazy. And then we remembered, keep calm, draw a picture. Okay, last one. I have 18 oranges. I want to put three oranges in a paper bag. How many paper bags must I buy? Hmm, let's read it again. I have 18 oranges. I want to put three oranges in a paper bag. How many paper bags must I buy? Okay, let's just draw our oranges. First things first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Whew! 18 oranges. How many are we putting in a bag? Three. All right. One, two, three. 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 Okay. How many paper bags must I buy? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we have it, six bags. That was easy once we drew a picture, hey? 
So now you'll remember the trick is when you see a story sum, keep calm, draw a picture. Beautiful work grade ones, well done. I hope you'll download the activity that I've prepared for you and do your own story sum right there at home. I'll be so proud of you if you keep calm and draw a picture. Have a lovely day, grade ones, and I hope that you enjoyed this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.